Welcome to another edition of my Fireside Chat. At Delta State University, we firmly believe that living on campus broadens students' college experiences and provides opportunities to make new friends, create memories that will last a lifetime, and provide for each one of our students a better, well-rounded, total experience because of their residential nature, living on campus and being around others. Our Office of Housing and Residence Life is dedicated to making student residential life pleasant and the best it can be. With less than a month now before the academic year begins, I'm pleased to provide some tips for dormitory life. But first, here are some numbers to think about. As of the beginning of July, 774 students have already been assigned dorm rooms on our campus for this fall, including new and returning students, an increase of 151 students from this time last year. Housing and Residence Life staff boast 35 RAs, two assistant hall directors, and five hall directors. So we have a jobs program going on in our dormitories. Beginning this year, students are required to live on campus for the first two years they are enrolled at Delta State. Today we have as a special guest, Ms. Rebecca Lyons, who's the hall director for Foundation Hall, who's right in the midst of this activity on campus, and she joins us to tell us a little bit more of what we're doing. Welcome, Rebecca. Thank you for having me. Glad to have you here. What are some of the tips that you have, because I don't have them, for students who are moving into the dorms, particularly for the first time? What, what is your best advice? Um, my best advice is that, you know, it's not as scary as they think it is. You know, we're a family here at Delta State, so the staff and us as hall directors, we try to make you feel as homey as we can. Try not to overpack. Um, because no matter how many, how many times you think you're going to wear that top 20 times throughout the year, you're not going to. Um, so pack light. Don't pack your whole closet. Is your advice for them to come to stay or come and kind of go back and forth between homes? Oh, no, definitely come and stay. So there pack, you, go. you know, pack enough clothes where, you know, you're clothed for a good while, but you don't there need you to pack go. everything. You don't need to pack your winter clothes when you're moving in August, yeah. you know. Um, how about rain jackets and galoshes? Oh my gosh, do not forget your rain jackets or your rain boots or whatever shoes you like to wear that you don't mind getting wet because yeah. it doesn't rain that often, but when it does, it tends to rain yeah. a lot. <laughs> Snack and foods and things like that? Oh yeah, bring as many snacks as you want. Um, we do have a cafeteria that, you know, has wonderful food in it. So you don't have to pack, you know, a whole refrigerator full of things, but, you know, water bottles, some um, snacks you want to eat, you know, when you're studying real hard at like midnight or so, you know, for finals. Well, students coming here, as in any university setting, expect uh, nice quarters, uh, clean and uh, fun environment around them and things like that. And so we continually try to upgrade the uh, status of our residence halls here and do repairs and painting and carpeting and that sort of thing. Uh, what sort of renovations can you share with us have been done that, to get ready for the next class to come in? Um, I do know that Brumby Castle is going to get new LED lights. We're trying to get new lights on campus just in general, and Brumby mm -hmm. Castle is going to be the first one to experience new LED lights. We're going to be like uh, eco-friendly, and mm -hmm. um, they're supposed to save some more money. Why do you think? I've laid out a couple of ideas about residential life being important, certainly preferable to a commuter, although students have to commute financially and for other reasons. I understand that. but. What do you think the value of living on campus in campus provided housing is all about? What's the, what are the best benefits that you see of being around the, your awards of state mm -hmm. that you're responsible <laughs> for? What are the benefits? Um, definitely you gain like more independence as a student. So you're not gonna live with your parents for the rest of your life. So eventually you're gonna need to get out there and um, having a roommate, you get to learn um, how to live with somebody that is nothing, is nothing mm -hmm. like you. Um, mm -hmm. It uh, helps you stay like connected on campus. You know, you're like the first person that even us as RAs and hall directors, we go to you guys first mm -hmm. for any activities we have going on. We're like, hey, there's something going on at the quad. Let's go to the quad, you know? And Good. well, it's everything is walking distance, you yeah. know? And so like, if you're running a couple minutes late to class, it's a 10 minute walk or a, a five minute jog. Um, anywhere around campus, you don't have to fight for parking spots, yeah. you know? Um, and everything is just so close together. Yeah. And so, and you're Johnny on the spot. You're right there. Oh yeah, so it makes totally. it very convenient. Tell our viewers and listeners, if you will, how to access information about housing, both a website and a telephone number, if they have questions. Um, you can access the housing website at deltastate.edu/housing. You can call us at uh, 662-843-4151. Great. Any questions? I appreciate you joining me today. Good luck this fall with our new group. Thank you. Appreciate it. In other news, on the Delta State campus, please make plans to attend our annual convocation on Thursday, August the 15th at 3 o'clock in the BPAC. 
At that time, I will present my State of the University address, and we invite the public, anyone who's interested in Delta State, to come out and join us. And as always, to keep up with our activities and events, please go to our website at deltastate.edu. Thank you again for joining me today. I'll see you the next time, but on a very different format for this program. We'll give you a new name, a new sense of idea, and we want you to tune in. Thanks for joining me for all these years on Fireside Chat. Stay tuned for the next chapter.